Hi everyone, welcome to the Treble Clef Project. My name is Ananya Iyengar and I'm your new director of vocal music. I'm so glad to have this opportunity to share my knowledge with everyone and I'm excited to get started. So today we'll be talking about the three different registers of your voice. They can be condensed into your chest voice, middle voice, and head voice. The three of these are incredibly important to develop because they give you a lot of versatility in the notes that you can hit and how healthily you can hit them. So let's get started on finding out what they are and what you can do with them. Starting with your chest voice, this is the register that sounds a little thicker, warmer, and fuller. It's the most comparable to your normal speaking voice, though it isn't necessarily the exact same. When you sing with your chest voice, you can hear the vibrations and feel them within your chest, hence the name. When you sing with your chest voice, it helps accentuate certain parts of a song. Maybe you want to make it a little more emotional or focus on the lyrics a little more. A popular artist that typically uses her chest voice a lot is Taylor Swift. She's quite versatile in her lower and upper range of this voice, and the upper range is known as your belt voice. There's a fine line between doing a healthy or harmful belt. Typically, when your voice feels a little strained or maybe feels like it's being tugged at, that means that your belt is a little too high or it's done in a way that it's damaging to your voice. When this happens, you want to immediately stop and maybe think of switching into a more mixed voice and mixing it with your middle voice instead. Your middle voice is the bridge between your chest voice and your head voice. It's a little heavier than your head voice and a little lighter than your chest voice. Mixing is typically a great way to hit those high notes flawlessly without having to damage your voice. In fact, you can mix your middle voice to sound a little more chest or head heavy depending on the song or your own personal preferences. A popular artist that uses her mixed voice is Ariana Grande. There's a typical conception that she belts all of her notes, but as of recent times, she has been mixing her voice a little bit more. Uh, it sounds a little more chest heavy, which is why it sounds like she's belting those notes when she really isn't. Mixing is a great way for people like her to keep their voice healthy because when they're going on tour so often, to sing those high notes repeatedly and for so long, it can actually be really damaging to your voice. So mixing is a great alternative for her to get that gravity of a high note while also keeping her voice healthy. Finally, your third register is known as your head voice. Your head voice sounds the lightest and it can also reach the highest. When you sing with your head voice, you can feel those vibrations in your head. It can be used to convey a softer, less dramatic part of a song. Popular artists such as both Ariana Grande and Taylor Swift use this head voice interchangeably with their chest and mixed voice respectively. And it's a great way and a tool for artists to reach the highest notes without straining their voice. All in all, the three parts of your voice are incredibly important to develop because as an artist, they give you a lot of versatility in how you want to sing your song and what ranges of songs you have. I would highly recommend searching up different artists' use of these three registers in order to get a better sense of how to use them for yourself. Aside from that, I hope you guys learned something from today's video and I'm so glad to be on this team. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.